Hi, welcome to you in the Smart Polish channels. I'm Polished. I'm talking to you the in this series of lecture videos number nine. It will be the nine videos. Before that, I will discuss all about the things in the coding, the particular some optimizations and uh, how to uh, train the neural networks uh, using particular some optimization, how to train the data, how to uh, how the data resource and all other things. In this session, I will discuss about the uh, my papers. My paper name is an improved particle sum optimization for training perception learning algorithms for less models. It is my university roll numbers. So in these things, in this uh, in the, uh, here, I will discuss uh, mainly within the 10 minutes about all the particle sum optimizations about my thesis regarding all the things. So hopefully you will understand some all the things. If you liked, please share my video, subscribe and um, Tell the other friends if somebody is motivated to do the particular some optimizations for training perception learning algorithms in the domain of neural networks, machine learning, and deep learning. Okay, so let me go to the another pages first. There's a about uh, basic things. I think chapter is starting from here. Let's see before what is the content is there. Before that is, is the declaration acknowledgements. Okay. Uh, other other things is this number of so it is the main content it is main contents of when I discuss in the my thesis the first the basic artificial neural networks what is the artificial neural networks and other details and these things is uh, very properly oriented no problem about the things uh, about the chapters about the recording and building block artificial neural network artificial connections architecture all the things after that, I'm going to the concept of particle sum optimizations, basic concept I discuss here. After that, literacy, literature survey and discuss here other the things. And and after that, I'm taking another chapter is a four into benchmark data sets. And with an experimental results, uh, experiment and results and discuss in the chapter five. And in chapter six, there is a conclusion and future work and uh, seven one is uh, references. So let's get started. So another problem with that, I will use number of figures. The figure list is here. So whatever the figures I used in the thesis, figures list is here. And whatever the table I used, the list of tables is here. So it starts from here. Basic to of artificial neural networks. It is the basic descriptions. Okay. After that, so the building blocks, artificial neural network connections, and all other details. Let's go to the, it is about the part of pseudo code or particle sum optimizations. I will go through the very demonstrated. That is the basic diagram of particular sum optimizations. And let's come to the velocity amplification in position sense. How does it change the velocity amplification with the proper equations and numbers? And with the things in details, all of the things in the very details. It is written by one hand and none of the single sentence also copy pasted from anywhere else. I'm very sure that if anybody check these things, in the plagiarism, none of the single sentence will be shown as a copy pasted. Advantages and disadvantages of particle sum optimizations will describe here. After that, I will go to the third chapter of literature survey. In the literature survey, it is the main things. Let's see the literature survey. Training networks versus training networks. There is a number of training networks, fit for networks using diagrams, feed forward the appropriation networks and there's equations also. Training functions, uh, in the training functions, when as I'm choosing the training functions, when I'm training the data in neural neural toolbox, using the neural neural toolbox, when I'm training the each of the data sets with five training functions. Here the five training function is mentioned, live in back market by propagations, Squashy neural back propagations, gradient descent moment and, and adaptive learning and rule, gradient descent with momentum and gradient descent. With five training functions, I choose to train the data for neural neural training box for benchmark data sets as benchmark results where I use the learning functions, the only gradient descent learning functions, and I used each of the data set training two layers each. And I'm using five neuron for each of the data sets and it is the short forms about in the functions name and how many parameter is there it is given in your tables now the learning factor I'm using gradient descent learning function only 
Now layer of the network, so what is the layer of the network is described here and experimental result and terminology. In the terminology I described here, what is the other regarding details like the training networks, uh, percentage of errors, what is percentage of regression, so what is the regressions and uh, error histograms, plot regressions, convergence plot, error histograms. I'm going to the benchmark data sets. Benchmark data sets I'm taking from each machine learning repository, and the data set I selected from the those data sets I taken already. This data set I'm giving experimental with those data set. First, I experimented with the particles of property position to train the neural network data and use this data set. After that, this data set I'm using to here again to train the neural network with some benchmark training functions as a limit but my theorems, square city run back propagations, gradient descent momentum with adaptive learning rules, gradient descent with momentum and gradient descent. And with there I am using the learning function as gradient descent and I used uh, uh, layer of a network of two and uh, there is a five neuron in each layer. Data set informations, basic data set informations, which type of data sets, default tasks, attributes, type, instance attributes as the data set all information is given here. What about the 10 data sets I used here? So data set modification and training. Before the training, we need to modify the training and the data set how to do the simulations. Procedure to train the neural network data also I described here how to train the procedure and neural network data step by step and experimental results. This is the good thing. Selection of data sets. Sorry. Okay. In the chapter 5, experimental initiatives, contribution of the project, approach towards the parameter selections, how I select the parameter value, have details regarding says their insights. Because you are not blindly select all the parameters values, because in term behind you need the reasons actually. And then you are selecting the parameter value and then obviously will get the better results. So let's see the better results of me. That's a result about in training the data set in neural network trainings. It is the average of all the things. Okay, let's see the training function. Limit by mark I am using limit but mark root. A gradient descent learning rules here. Yes. For layer, I am using here first layer and second layer where I am getting the training validations of this gradient training gradient and plot regressions values is this. Okay, for Limit but market back propagations one and two and three for for squashy need and back propagation neural networks five and six for gradient descent momentum with adaptive learning rules eight for gradient descent with momentum and nine only for gradient descents. I got these results now discuss with my results uh, my result is uh, mentioned below think yeah my result is here this is all of the mean value average value I mentioned here in the uh, tenth of the data set or whatever I used to mention in the particle some optimizations is the mean score errors is this percentage of error of this and validations error of this and training gradient this and plot regulations errors of this so let's see the my errors and the average plot regulations errors what about the errors we are calculating using the plot regulations plot regulations is the perfect uh, I mean you can see is the benchmark uh, results how much will tuning the data sets after tuning you are getting results so in my particle sum optimization after using the training data sets I got the result like 0 0.8280 just remember the four number 0 0.8280 I'm this data set is this result is good rather than gradient descent algorithms gradient descent or gradient descent with the momentum also gradient descent with the adaptive learning rules as well as quasi neural back propagations for second layer so my proposed methodology and the proposed rules or the method of training is gives better results rather than gradient descent any of the algorithms and it also gives the good or better results in the squash in Eden back propagations for second years. But rather than my results, 
squash and urine paper applications first layer as well as the lipid burn market 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 by propagation to get better results so feature work is that you can go for that data sets and you can analyze it why it gives the better results rather than you and other things also is theirs so let's go to the feature works and let's see in the calculations and feature works are their extension of the parameter you can do algorithmic extension you can do you can use another algorithms to use those are the algorithms instead of particles of optimization to improve your proposed methodology and parameter extension value you can choose the parameter extension value not blindly not assumptions you have need to reason behind okay proper document in your hand is a reason for that why you choose the data if you not able to choose the correct value that you will not get the correct results very optimal results trust me and for that all of the things I have backup file, backup experiment, lots of experiments and data is there. After that, I conclude the accelerations coefficient, initial final value, IW and IW values, and iteration of number values. All the values I consider with the, like 140 time experiments. So it is experiment based results, it is not assumptions. For that to the case, I'm given the results. So if your hand, the paper is already to give this uh, ex, uh, to give this uh, reason for that why you will choose the data sets uh, why you choose the parameter value like this you should have to take responsibility for that and binary valuations and solutions you can uh, take as a feature works at fitness functions extensions you can choose I'm using here the references it is the first paper of Jim Skinnery and uh, I will show you another the paper from prepared, uh, uh, paper number five. This paper gave me the best result. I will start from this paper. And, uh, after that, I will be very motivated to this works uh, particles from optimization to train the neural networks. Okay, with the uh, this papers, so it is uh, quite tough. But if you read this paper at least two or three times, I think you will be understandable. If you are interested in these domains, so. It is a ninth video of this so end of the my video so thank you for watching uh, like my video subscribe my channel please and uh, in the next sessions it will be the last video of times where I will discuss about the PPD PowerPoint presentations of my project so thank you so much bye